get your chip keys at 0n9.com. Use my code to get 22% discount on Windows 10 and buy it for 12 bucks. The same applies to Microsoft Office 2016 where my code gives you 10% discount. Hello guys, I'm Shane Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today I bring you a video, a type of video that I haven't done for like two months and it is a build video, Ryzen 5 2400G build video. This video is not about the best build that you can have because this is not the best build for the price but in my opinion it is a pretty pretty damn solid build for the price, it is pretty pretty solid. So I have the GPU for example at um, 1600 MHz and I have RAM at 32000 MHz CL16 and um, the Ryzen 5 um, 2400G the CPU core at 4 GHz and this works wonderfully on this MSIB 350 Tomahawk. So this video mostly consists on me first me showing the case per se so doing a showcase uh, and etc for you guys to see the case the components and etc the second part is about the components so i'll show you the price you can have these components for example on my country on portugal and on united states i'll be using for example amazon and new egg for for having like the um, the comparison and see the um, the cheapest price where you can get the components the cheapest not the price, the cheapest the cheapest store where you can get these components. The third part is the part that you all want to see. What can Ryzen 5 2400G with the integrated graphics of course, so no graphic card, with the integrated graphics what this APU can play. Rainbow Six Siege gameplay with the missions, so CSGO the benchmark map and CSGO on a gameplay also with a competitive match on Dust 2, a little of Far Cry 5 gameplay also and don't forget Dota 2 and League of Legends will also be tested because these APUs are mostly for the people who play um, light games, so light gaming and maybe some games on 1080p 30fps, some heavier games, yeah. Thanks for watching and let's go to the really interesting part now, see you soon. So these are the parts I am using on this APU build, some of the parts I bought used on second hand, for example the hard drive and the power supply, but you can build this computer for around $508 all parts new, prices on Amazon and Newegg. If you want a cooler look and the cooler temperatures you need around 80 bucks more to get the CPU cooler and some better fans for your case. Let's now go to the benchmarks. The first game tested is Rainbow Six Siege at medium settings. What we can see from this graph is that even at 1080p an overclocked Ryzen 5 2400G will be able to handle around 60 FPS in terms of averages, while the 1% lows will have a small drop to 52 FPS. If you don't want your game to go below 60 FPS, you can simply play at 900p or 720p or maybe at 1080p with lower graphical settings. Let's see a bit of gameplay now. Now on CSGO Benchmark Tool, I made this test for the people who may want to compare the FPS with other APUs or even other lower end GPUs and using the benchmark is way easier and more consistent. 
the average FPS number are pretty good for this APU, costing now less than 150 bucks. The super low numbers you see on the 1% lows are due to the smoke parts on the map. Let's watch some seconds of it. Now, with competitive playing with bots, I must remember you all that FPS in a real competitive game will be higher since the bots consume some CPU power. Still, we see pretty decent results. Even at 1080p, we had an average of 174 FPS, with some FPS drop, a normal thing of course, but the good point is that the FPS never dropped below 60 FPS. Let's see the gameplay now. On Far Cry 5 I wanted to test real gameplay, so I did a small run around in the same place for the three resolutions. Far Cry 5 is a recent game and a heavy one graphical wise. Still, this APU can run it at 30 FPS average, aka console experience. If you are the type of person who sacrifices graphical beauty for FPS, then you can simply play at 720p and the average FPS will be always around 60 FPS. Let's now see a bit of gameplay one more time. Strike. Now on another competitive game, Dota 2. On Dota 2 I decided to test everything at max. Max setting since the game is way heavier graphical wise than for example League of Legends, so I wanted to test the limits of this APU in this game, of course. As you can see, even at 1080p max settings, the average FPS numbers over around 72 FPS, while the minimum FPS is strangely lower on lower resolutions. Why? I don't... I don't know. Fuck it, I don't know. Let's now see a bit of gameplay. You will be... <gasps> to be spent wisely. Be wary. Be cautious. Drink deep flames knowledge. <sighs> now, on League of Legends, being it's our last game tested. This time it is being tested at medium settings. Why? Because I fucked up, that's why. <laughs> Anyway, since there is no GPU bottleneck even at max settings, the results wouldn't be much different. Once again, we see the minimum FPS at 1080p being higher than the minimums at 900p. But since it was a gameplay, many things may cause that, like a more intensive battle for example. To end, let's see the gameplay of League of Legends. So guys, now the conclusion of this build, this Ryzen 5 2400G build. Yes, I'm using my feet because, well, it looks so much cooler than using the hands anyway. So just, yeah, fuck it.
as we've seen before, the Ryzen 5 2400G build can play games smoothly. Some games only at 1080p 30fps, not 60fps, of course, not even on low settings. Uh, because this um, integrated GPU, which is the Vega 11, is completely bandwidth starved. And so, memory, higher memory frequencies, higher memory frequencies, I, I always miss on pronouncing the H, sorry. Um, higher memory frequencies uh, increase the performance of the GPU a lot. A lot, guys. You can see this on this video, uh, because this video was made on the Ryzen 5 integrated GPU, Ryzen 5 2400G, Vega 11, and you can see the awesome difference between memory speeds. So guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I did, and I failed a lot before doing this wonderful video. I'm just joking. Or am I? Anyway guys, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, share the video. And thanks one more time for watching. See you in the next one. Video. The next video.